And as usual, we try to save the very best for last. We grabbed the researchers before they left yesterday, and now we have the icing on the cake, so to speak, the patient community, the global patient community. This year we have many new countries represented. We have two representatives from South Africa. Would you please stand? Thank you, and thank you for coming in the last minute. Everything was kind of rushed into. We're thrilled that you made it. We also have Serbia. We have a, a large Swiss uh, delegation, and they brought chocolate, so I like them very, very much. Thank you. We also, we also have representatives from Greece. We're thrilled to have you here. Are you in the room this morning? Yes! And we had Dr. Fuchs from Israel with us. I enjoy that very much. I did not fall asleep, but I learned that I'm, I'm a, a mid-sleeper, not very short, so for once I feel a little longer. We have Chile, we had Estonia, and Lithuania for the first time. And with no... And thank you all so much for joining in to the global community of Alphas. And with no further ado, we will present to you the global patient community. Hi, my name's Stephen Knowles of Australia, where we have the Health for One Association of Australia. Recently, in Australia, augmentation therapy for Health for One has been approved by the authorities. Big news. Of course, the cost of augmentation therapy is out of reach for the average patient. And so the challenge now is to have the Australian government subsidise its cost. As a patient group, we're currently seeking external strategic assistance as to how to most effectively lobby the government for funding. Also, we remain keen on establishing an Australian Alpha One Registry in collaboration with Charlie Strange's Alpha One Research Registry. However, the current sticking point remains the funding required to kick this off. Another interest we have is having Alpha One included in newborn screening. To this end, we await approval of a new national framework which aims to bring uniformity across five participating states. We're looking forward to collaborating with Alpha One Global to achieve our objectives. It's been terrific networking with you all in Lisbon. If our paths haven't crossed already, please do say hi. Jeg er Gunhild Nørhav fra Danmark. Danmark, Norge og Sverige har ikke adgang til erstatningsbehandling. Vi har kæmpet i over 15 år. De år koster liv. De nordiske landes mål er, at vi også skal have adgang til erstatningsbehandling via de nationale sundhedssystemer. Sammen med vores alfa 1 specialister og relevante aktører arbejder vi med strategien for at overbevise sundhedssystemet. Vi er vikingerne, men vi får ikke behandling, det er bizarrt. Sammen med flere europæiske lande er vi med i et stort tysk leverforsøg. Det er første gang, vores lever bliver set. Vi har fået målrettet hjælp på alle tænkelige måder fra Alpha Global for at kunne bruge værktøjskassen effektivt og fremadrettet, og det gør vi. Jeg er så taknemmelig for den styrke, viden, entusiasme og energi, vi kan hente i det globale netværk. Hjælp mig nu kun en samtale væk. Tak for det. Norge, Sverige og alle andre. Hello, I am Tim Frost, the US representative to the Alpha One Global Steering Committee. In the US, we are served by two organizations, AlphaNet, a not-for-profit organization which provides health management services for over 6,000 alphas on augmentation therapy. It is over 50 coordinators, alphas serving alphas every day. AlphaNet also contributed over $50 million to Alpha One research over the last 20 years. The patient organization that is critical to our success in the US is the Alpha One Foundation. The foundation leads the US community in patient education, patient support, driving for a cure, 
working with the medical community and advocacy. Our big issue is ensuring our patients will continue to have health insurance coverage through the anticipated changes in the US health insurance system. Cześć, jestem Robert i pochodzę z Polski. W zeszłym roku zainicjowałem powstanie pierwszego w Polsce stowarzyszenia na rzecz chorych z niedoborem alfa 1 antytrypsyny. Nasze najbliższe cele to wydanie materiałów informacyjnych i edukacyjnych o naszej chorobie i o stowarzyszeniu. Prowadzimy również stronę internetową oraz grupę na Facebooku w celu utrzymywania kontaktu z naszymi chorymi. Na tym etapie chcemy przede wszystkim być widoczną prezentacją chorych z niedoborem alfa 1 antytrypsyny w grupie około 2 milionów chorych z chorobami rzadkimi w Polsce. Dostrzegamy brak wiedzy u lekarzy i u pacjentów oraz problemy w dostępie do opieki medycznej. W oparciu o własne doświadczenia chcemy łączyć chorych ze światem medycyny i nauki oraz przedstawicielami rządu. Korzystając ze wsparcia i pomocy Alpha One Global chcemy działać na rzecz poprawy dostępności do leczenia, obniżenia jego kosztów, prowadzenia nowych innowacyjnych terapii oraz refundacji. Wiemy, że razem możemy więcej. Uważamy, że nasza siła tkwi we współpracy międzynarodowej pod egidą i z pomocą Alpha One Global. This year, our Alpha One Patient Charity celebrates its 20th birthday. Our group has evolved from our initial focus of providing advice and practical support to the Alpha One patient community across the UK, to also adopting a patient advocacy role in recent years, and continuously engaging with clinicians, NHS bodies, health technology appraisal agencies, and other charities. We work to improve the quality of life of Alphas by raising disease awareness, and campaigning for access and equality of access to clinical expertise, optimal healthcare services, and to the only disease modifying medicine licensed in the UK, augmentation therapy. Hola amigos Alfa del Mundo, aquí desde la República Argentina les habla Carlos Cambón y les quiero contar hoy que seguimos trabajando para dar a conocer y difundir sobre el déficit de alfa 1 antilipsina compartiendo experiencia, dando contención, brindando soporte legal y técnico para gestionar la provisión de la medicación de los pacientes recién diagnosticados. A nivel regional, en Latinoamérica, trabajamos no solo para difundir, sino también para que la medicación pueda llegar a estar en todos los países. Esta es una tarea muy dura y todos los alfa de Latinoamérica estamos esperando pero seguiremos trabajando día a día para que toda nuestra comunidad, los Alfa, podamos vivir y estar cada día mejor. Un beso de la Buenos Aires. My name is Frank Willison. I'm from Alpha One Plus in Belgium and uh, today we are eight patients in Belgium and we have no access uh, for new treatment in Alpha One antitrypsin deficiency. That's our most important problem to have access to care. We know in other countries it's quite different, but uh, also in the Alpha One Global Group, we see that in most countries in Europe and also around the world, it's very difficult to get some treatment. And that's our mission on the Alpha One Global Group. So it, it's a great pleasure that you are in and let's uh, stay together and exchange all our ideas about what we come up with because there are a lot of new faces all over the world, a lot of new researchers, and we will go for the next step in the Alpha One community. Thank you very much. We are so glad you enjoy that. We wanted to have a video so that the steering committee members could speak their own language and we give you the translation. Wasn't that beautiful? So thank you.